We've got Justin Torrey. He will be in the red, taking on Rex Harris in the blue. All right. Take it our take a look at our ring card girl, Miss Emily. Tell us what round it is. I actually hadn't forgot. It's not to the point of the night yet. Tori looks focused. And old Rex looks strong. <laughs> That's what he looks. Seven days of the week. Man. Uh, you ready? You ready? Touch of the gloves in the middle. We're underway. Well, Rex better put those hands up, champ. Tori throws a leg kick. Rex, Rex caught that almost in slow motion. Uh -huh. Looks like he's trying to run the pipe right here. Don't grab the good, pass. good. Landed back on the feet. Nice takedown. Tori's trying to sneak that left leg out and go for the triangle. Harris is onto it, pins him up against the fence. It's going to limit his jujitsu now. Foot on the hip is a good sign of uh, good jujitsu from the bottom. Looking to get angles. Yeah, Tori's moving pretty well down there. You see him scrambling here. David, if he had an underhook with that left arm, oh, yeah, he'd he's got to address feet. this. Well, he comes up anyway, even with an overhook. That's not easy to do. That's a good sign right there for Justin Torrey. Torrey with a good knee to the body. He needs to trade positions with his opponent, Rex Harris, right here. Put Rex's back against the fence. The one thing, the one downside to these big, strong guys is they do get tired a little bit quicker. So if Torrey can keep him working, a good scramble like this is good for Torrey, particularly for the duration of the fight. This could pay dividends in rounds two and three. That is so true, Chell. It's called being efficient. Harris so is defense. controlling the underhook. If Torrey could dig inside, he could take control of this position and fend him off. But he's landing some okay knees to the body here. Good, very nice sweep right there. That was outstanding. Very, very nice. And he uses thigh for that. In Muay Thai, they call that the truck driver. Right there, Harris is holding the fence. That is against the rules. Again. And now Tori. Tori's got the underhook now. Oh, and he's digging to the body. Those hurt. Oh, Those hurt. That Those can hurt. wear anybody down, uh, David, but that was a big knee to the body right Those, there. Those will get you tired right there. Very he goes nice. back to that Very foot nice. sweep. Oh, and he goes to a full mount. Whoa. He is looking to extend the arm. He's got it extended. Rex is fighting this. What he needs to do is do what he just did right there, come over the top. Very nice. That was an excellent move by Justin Torrey. I am going to have to watch that on a personal level on replay. I want to see how he's doing that foot sweep. But above everything else, he is making Rex Harris work, and that can really pay off for Torrey if he can keep up the pace himself. Torrey has a very good understanding of angles and shimmying. And he seems to be pretty efficient off the bottom. Just over 90 seconds left in the round. We, we've really seen quite a bit of action. Good hand placement by Harris. Keeps those hands off the mat. Notorious attempting to stand up with Howden underhook. That's possible, guys. It's doable, but boy, is it a lot harder. If he would just dig himself an underhook, Put his back on that cage. I think he could come up a lot easier here. He's got just over 70 seconds to do it. And one more big scramble could really pay off for him. And now Torrey's to his feet. He needs to turn and face him. He's holding on to that leg. And he spins off and puts Rex up against the fence. This is the same position he's been in twice in this first, uh, first round already. And he did a foot sweep. Threw his opponent off balance once and, taking him down. And he'll try it again. He'll look to go off of his underhook and then put the other hand on the hip. And then look to turn just like that. 
very close round. I think it's favoring Rex Harris at this point. Looks like Tori's starting to wear Harris out a little bit. Tori again lifts that knee, goes to the body. He's giving up this position a little too easy. If you're gonna get your back on the fence, he's really gotta make his opponent work. He goes right back to that foot sweep. Rex Harris drags him back to the ground. My friends back home that played judo call that Ashiwaza. Well, the Ashiwaza was very nice. <laughs> hey, you're doing a great job, okay? Mouthpiece. 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 A little bit of water. Yeah. A little water. Here, go ahead. Let's take a look at this takedown here by Tori. He's tied up. He gets Rex to Ooh, relax a little bit. Nice. He goes right to that technique. He swings into an arm bar. He didn't have the greatest position on it. But Rex was dog tough here. He eventually circles to the left. And as soon as he can pass those legs, David, he's out of danger. And you can tell Torrey's practiced that move over and over again. That's something that you can tell he does all the time. A beautiful technique. The guy goes to take a step, and it's nothing there. Yeah, I'll tell you, Rex, it's very clear what he needs to do in these next couple of rounds, which is get his opponent down and stay on it. But I'm very impressed with the skills we've seen so far of Justin Torrey when he decides to move. I mean, he's like he's like a whip. He oh, just yeah. cracks and goes. As long as Justin Torrey can stay fresh and keep this pressure, round two, round two. I think he's still going to have some good moments in this contest. Oh, starts to fire the kick to the body and the knee to the head, and now a kick to the leg. Rex Almost Harris tackles him. Almost overcommitted on that takedown. Now he's got top position. I smell a triangle coming. Yes, you can see him setting up. You're trying to get wrist control. Yeah, there it is. Is Justin Torrey trying to get that wrist control so he can push it between his legs? Rex is making a bit of a mistake right here, David. When he's reaching his free hand under his opponent's head. Yes. It's more comfortable there, but if he could come to the face or the chin and push Justin Torrey away, it would force Justin to have to deal with that before he could set up his own offense. You never want to leave your hand on the back of the guy's head. That's a good way to get uh, reverse arm crushed right there. It's a painful submission on the elbow. It doesn't look like Torrey's looking for it, though. I don't know if he knows what's going on here. Or maybe Harris is really, really strong. Come on, Justin. Back up to the bottom, buddy. Justin Torrey had great success in the first round of escaping, but he had the fence to his advantage. Everything he did was against the fence. He was able to use that as a third arm, if you will. Right now, he doesn't have the support to put that, put his back up against it, and he looks a little stuck right here. He's got the underhook, which is good. But I think he's going to look for some submissions. Once he exhausts those options, perhaps he'll turn to trying to stand up, but that's really where he needs to get right now. Good idea would be for him to get one knee on the inside and create some space and get up on a collar tie. Climb the cage up, climb the cage. Start getting Good hip heist would work. He's up against the fence. Push him away. Very good at Harris picking those feet up off the hips. Yes, Tori is posting his feet on the hips and Harris is reaching down and taking those off. Yep, there it is right there. Right, up, push him away, start right here, when Tori is posting his leg on the hip of Harris, yeah. he's got a little control. He can push him away, he can guy. swing his own hips. If Harris right can Give take that, that away and make the feet yeah. dangle, so there's no opportunity. And that's a horrible feeling. Right up. Right up. Come on, work up. Now, David, Tori is against the fence right now. This is where he, he used in the first round to get away, when he can post his back up against that fence. He's had pretty good success here, but there's no time to waste. We're halfway through the round. And he's on a switch. He could reverse this position. If and he can keep that leg hooked, he's gonna have success in this position. Uh-oh. He's got a Kimura right there, too. Very, very nice. Harris forced to slip the head out the other side. There's a danger of being reversed. They're back up to their feet. 
Tori needs to get his hips forward, break this lock of Harris, and turn and face him. Until he faces him, in the eyes of the judges, he's losing these moments. Yeah, exactly. It'd be a good idea for Harris to go for his own foot sweep right here and take him down. Very nice foot stomps right there. Oh, and Harris just collapses him, locks his hands in the small of his back, bear hugs him down. You got, you got to stop holding your guard, buddy. Let's go. Get to your feet. Come on. Right, Tori's right corner there. instructing him to not hold his guard. They are completely right about that. He seems really comfortable down there, but he needs to get working. That's the thing. You can have a guard. You can be on the bottom, but you got to get active. You got to threaten. You got to stay down there constantly making the guy feel uncomfortable. You don't want him to be on top of you. As Harris starts to push him into the fence, which is generally a position a ground and pounder likes to put him in, but Tori has done a great job of climbing, getting elevation, climbing his back up the fence, and that's what he's using for his escapes. He's back in this position again. He's got just over a minute in this round. And really no time to spare. Tori digs an underhook. Now he's, not, he's got to start to look to get some height. Oh, he's taking his own underhook out. He abandoned it. That was his salvation to the feet. I'm very confused. He took that out on his own. He had to throw it in on the other side, but he's not doing anything with it. And fatigue starts to kick in. I think oh, we're starting yeah. to see a little bit of fatigue. But if Tory begins to concede a position like this, he's going to concede the round. And that's going to equal a fight at some point tonight. Rex needs to start to work on his posture right here. He's got good defense, but a good posture and some good ground and pound would do a good thing right here for him. Well, that wasn't the most action-packed round, but Rex certainly stuck to his game plan, got him down and held him there. Okay, you're, 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 you're definitely down two right now, okay? Breathe, breathe, buddy, breathe. Deep breaths, Rex. Slow your breathing, deep breaths. Under control, breathe. Breathe. Slow, deep breaths. There you go, just breathe. One more step. Okay. Well, let's take left a listen to the angle right corner. And then a right cross, a okay, left cross, excuse me, okay? No more kicks, all right? And we get, we, if, you, if you see it, don't go for it in, 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 at the first, okay? okay? Listen to me. If you get to the ground, either get to your feet or I want to open guard. No more closed guard. He's just holding you there, okay? Okay. He just so, wants to ride this fight out. So no yeah. closed guard at all. No, boxing, because he's just looking at that overhand right. He's not going to throw anything but that overhand right and then run to No, pizza. Good advice from the corners. You know, champ, I couldn't oh, yeah. help but notice Tory's coach told him in no uncertain terms, no more leg kicks. And that is what's cost him. In the very first round, he got caught. He got taken down in the second round. He got uh, mulled over as he lost his balance. Let's see if Tory listens to him. He almost Round argued three. back. He said, what Round if it's a head three. kick? The coach paused and said, well, don't do it early. You can't catch those. Nice job. I think his corner, Tory's corner, also didn't want him to stay inside the closed guard anymore. Oh, very, great very combo nice knee. Finishes with a knee, and he stays up. Now, right there, Tory grabbed the fence again. The referee is either not seeing it or is not aware of the rule. But either way, they're on their feet. This is right where Tory needs to be. He listened to his corner. Let's see what he does now. Rex Harris with a good hook and a good jab. And some good up. Oh, some good power there by Rex. And he lets those hands go. Tory now pushes him into the fence. I don't think he wants to be clenched with him. David, I really think he needs to get to the open and try to let those hands go. Yeah, exactly. Great the body, but we are in the third round. And Tory's corner is screaming for it. They want him to disengage now. Justin, disengage now. Start throwing your hands. That was down oh, south right, right there. A low blow right there. Rex Harris, for the viewers at home that haven't seen this position, but it's an accidental low blow like this. Rex Harris will be given five minutes to recover, up to five minutes. He can wave that off at any point and get the action going as soon as right now, but he will get an entire five minutes before he has to make a decision to say if he can continue or not. 
So we take a look at this. Justin, Justin Torrey's got him locked up. He throws that knee, the same knee he's thrown about eight times in this contest, but this one went a little bit low. That was an accident. The definitely, referee definitely an accident. has ruled that an accident. Justin, no coaches. He has not you, you chosen to take a point round. away. Disengage, you have him. Torrey showed great knee Disengage placement, so time. that was definitely an accident. Good opportunity for Harris to rest. Yeah, <laughs> he's got to catch his breath. Those muscles need some oxygen. Justin, throw the cross to the body, hear me? You ready? The cross to the body, come up with the hook. All right, watch it. Ready? Stop up. And there was that overhand right. Very nice short hook right there. Great hook by Rex Harris. Now Rex pushing him into the fence. This isn't where Tory wants to there be. Gosh, he goes right back to that sweep, and now he Justin, pushes Rex up against the cage. Justin, disengage. And they're screaming for him to disengage. Justin, disengage. And here we go. Lock those hands. I think it's coming. Lock doubles coming up right around the corner. If Rex can stand to his feet, he's got one knee down. If he comes to both feet, he's likely to pick his opponent up. Rex needs to switch to a single leg and then look to take him down from there. It's a lot harder to secure that takedown when the guys start to separate your hands. Right here, Torrey cannot concede this takedown, David. He's got to Justin, pop up to his feet, get his hips forward, and turn and face him. Yep. Turn hard to the cage. His uh, coaches want him to disengage. I don't know that he's ignoring them. I just think that he's Rex Harris, he's right? Rex has got it. Gosh, he goes right back to that technique. What were you calling that in judo? That's Ashiwaza. Ashiwaza. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I call it very effective. Oh, it, it's been a nice combination. There's a flurry by Torrey. And he's starting to open up now. Torrey's a fighter. Oh, yeah. He is not giving up. Harris trying to hold on here. Good knee to the head. Any part of this fight, Harris just knows what he needs to do to stay very disciplined. And he opened him up with that last knee. That got it going. Justin, disengage. And they're still screaming for him to disengage. Looks like he's doing some damage here. Two minutes, nine seconds on the clock. Rex Harris is definitely fatigued. Oh, yeah. Justin, disengage, buddy. Stop grappling. Push out. You got the knockout. Justin, let the hands go. Coaches think he can find a Justin, knockout get if he can get out of this clinch position. So do I. Harris is tired. Push out. Get the elbow over the top. Come on, buddy. Justin, that is a sign of fatigue right there when you're trying to clinch with both double overhooks. Justin, fight the underhook now. Get underhooks. Rex had one. Take down. One last spurt in him, and he, and he got saved it. it. He saved it. You see the look of frustration on Tori's face. <laughs> Tori says something back. That's an awesome sign. When Tori has his back on the fence, David, he's been very good at standing up to his feet from this position, but he's got to dig an underhook. He's got to. But he took it out a few, like one or two rounds ago. Yeah, he's found a way to make it work, but he's making it hard on himself. Harris There's got an that easier arm trap. way. He's got that arm trap right there. This would be a lot more effective if Harris was in the half guard. Tori's doing a great job right here, keeping his legs closed and keeping that left foot on the hip. Harris can drive some weight to that trapped arm. Well, it looks like Torrey's got it out. And he's almost up back to his feet. Rex Harris hanging on here. Until Torrey gives him a reason to advance his position, he's not going to do it. The finish line is in sight. He's just trying to hang out right here. This is going to be Tory's job to create some action. Harris is content that he's done enough. And Harris has his head a little too close when he goes for that ground and pound. He needs to posture away. That's how you can really rain down that steel. Rex Harris, what a fine example of having the game plan and sticking, sticking to it. it. He took plenty of shots. He had plenty of adversity, but he did stick to it. Tori is very impressive in this fight. Outstanding. Very impressive. Outstanding. I really thought skill for skill, 
he was the better he fighter was definitely, here. Definitely, definitely, as far as skill. Position for position, no. He gave up positions yeah. and he gave them up for too long. But as far as showing some real diversity, it was definitely Justin Torrey. The one adjustment a lot of fighters have to make is when something's not working, you go to something else. Don't stay with it. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards, and once again, we have a split decision. Judge Joseph Feldman scores at 29-28 for Harris. Judge Eric Colon scores at 29-28 for Tory. And Judge Suzanne Sanidad scores at 29-28 for your winner by split decision. T-Rex Harris! I think Tory kind of knew that was coming. You know, they got that one right, but they were real close to taking that from him. I'm, uh... Great job, Mark.